As Russia's currency, the ruble, continues devaluation in response to international sanctions imposed on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, officials and economists in Armenia warn that the economic fallout could damage the country's already struggling economy. At a government session on Thursday, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said that Armenians should get ready for more economic hardship. Minister of Economy Vahan Keropian stated that a serious challenge to food security awaits the country this year. In his opinion, further increases in food prices in Armenia should also occur. Armenia imports a large part of wheat and other foodstuffs from Russia. According to Armenia's government, there are concerns that the Russian government might curb their exports in response to the severe sanctions. The ruble crashed by about 30% on Monday, sinking to an all-time low against the U.S. dollar, just days after a group of the world's most advanced economies announced harsh sanctions on Russia's financial sector. The sanctions package is widely seen as one of the most severe ever imposed on Russia. Russia is Armenia's main trade partner and investor, with the two countries sharing a single market by virtue of their membership in the Eurasian Economic Union, a Russian-led trade bloc. The World Bank Board of Executive Directors approved a $29 million loan for Armenia aimed at public sector modernization. It will assist the government in improving the efficiency of and access to selected government services for businesses and citizens. The project will support the government's approach to public sector modernization through three components anchored in public administration, data management and digital service delivery systems. And in the latest show of Insights with Eric Hakopian, Civil Nets analyst Eric Hakopian discusses Armenia's presidential race and the suitability of the sole candidate, Minister of High Tech Industries, Vahagan Khachatryan. Eric also explains why there is such a discrepancy between the media coverage of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the 2020 Karabakh war. In Hakopian's opinion, there is a triage of people who matter in the world and there is a club. Let's just say it plainly, it's a club and we're not in it.